Hello everyone, thank you for watching our next VProtect video. Uh, right now we'll present the latest version called Gravity, which will co fully concentrate on the latest Citrix and server uh, support with the beauty change block tracking functionality. So let's go to explaining how it works in VProtect. First, let's add a new hypervisor. Choosing the server, we choosing which on which node we would like to protect, and what we change, we can choose right now the way how to import expert mode. Previously, we have only the XVA. Right now, we can choose the new mode, provide us a separate disk features, so we can selective and choose what kind of the disk we would like would like to protect, and the incremental backups. What is more. In a Zen server configuration, we can enable and disable XVA compression if we will choose the old school of protecting our hypervisors. Okay, let's go to the VM. Right now you see that each VM can inherit import and export mode. Uh, so you can see that we can easily change into the different one. So let's take a separate disk and change back tracking. Also, we can check and uncheck uh, the QS freeze before the snapshot options. So this is the integration with the side trick tools. Let's go to this VM and do the backup job. So let's pick this type, incremental. Let's take, in this scenario, backup destination to IBM Spectrum Protect. So let's monitor the tasks. So the first task is running, this is the expert task, so we're doing a snapshot and after that we'll have a store task, so we'll store the data on our, in our dis backup destination. Yeah, we see that the story started. Okay, so we finished, so our machine is protected, we can see the details of the job, so you can see on which node was responsible for the protecting this machine and where this data is stored. Yep, let's come back, choose the hypervisor, so index, so we'll see do we have any of the new machines that will be listed from the, our hypervisors? Let's refresh the view. Okay, we can see that we have a two. Go to the virtual machines, find this machine on the next hypervisor. And let's do the backup. So let's, in this scenario, again choose the Spectrum Protect as a backup destination, but choose the full one. So let's test the two types of the backups. Again, two tasks. The first one is the expert task, so we're doing a snapshot on a Citrix Zen server. We're gathering the, the data from the Zen server node. And the next task will send the data to the backup destination that we choose for this specific job. Okay, so let's see what we've done here. So we have two hypervisors. And let's restore right now. Choose to which hypervisor we would like to restore and on which storage repository. So again, the restore task 
will be separated into two different subtasks. So first one will be to gather the data from the backup destination into the vProtect node, then we'll import the machine directly to the hypervisor. So after the restore is done, we can see that there is a new machine on one of the hosts with the same name. Okay, let's right now see how the mounting backups is working it's also the new feature that we added in the latest release so basically you can you can mount from the full or incremental backup um, the whole file system so you can easily go and grab individual files from the full VM image So let's wait for the restore. So restore task is gathering the data from the backup destination into the vProtect node that is responsible for this kind of the hypervisors. And we mounted it on the vProtect node file system. Yeah, we can see that this MNT vProtect centers with the name, with the date. So you can go inside and you can see all of the file system structure. Also, you can you can visualize, you can unmount it. Let's do it right now. So you'll see that this file system will be disappeared from the node file system. Exactly, so unmounted, it's working properly. Okay, that was a fast track what we've done lately uh, in the latest release Gravity for the Sizewix and Cypher. Watching our next movies. Thanks a lot.